G'day YouTube, it's Turbo Tristan here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Max Peating Rods have reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test out their new garage heater. With winter approaching in the next week or so and a lot of projects on that I'll have to be doing work in the garage at night, I said, sure, I'll test out your new garage heater. So I do apologize that we're not turboing any cars today and this is not my regular scheduled content. But, it was free, they asked me to do it, so we're going to get a review on a Max Peating Rods 5 kilowatt garage heater, and this is going to come in very handy. Alright, so this is the unit. Ah... Uh, to be honest, I don't know much about it. I haven't really been in the market for one of these and I didn't really think I needed one until I tested it out last night and found out that it's super duper warm. Even with my open car port, uh, it's still gonna generate quite a lot of heat and I'll point it sort of underneath the car to keep the heat where I'm working. So I think it'll be good. Comes with a little screen here. You can turn it on and off, turn the, the power up and down. And then there's a few settings, you can have it on a timer. It even comes with a little remote control, which works. I've tested that, you don't need any batteries or anything. Now it does run on diesel. So in there, I've put a couple of litres of diesel in. Sorry, pretty tricky to do with one hand. But there it is, not much to it. So that's full of diesel. You've got a little tiny fuel pump here, or it's kind of like, kind of like an injector sort of thing. It sort of sucks out the fuel and squirts it in there. It pulses, so it's more of an injector than a fuel pump, just gravity fed. And then down here is the motor fan at the back. Underneath here, there's an intake, so that's your intake. And then there's an exhaust, which I've got to put on. Um, it does need to be mounted a little bit higher off the ground, so. Um, you know, these little feet here, I'm going to have to mount them on some blocks of wood or something to lift it up off the ground. The good thing about it running on diesel, uh, so it's so it's 12 volt. You hook that up to a battery or a uh, cigarette lighter plug. And then the diesel in here, it uses 100 mil per hour. So this is four or five liters. I think it was five liters. So you've got 50 hours worth of heating out of here at 5 kilowatts, which absolutely pumps. So I'll put it all back together, hook it up to a battery and fire it up, put the exhaust on and we'll test it out. Now I do have my heat gun. And at the moment, coming out of there is 17 degrees. Warmer than I thought. Let's fire it up and we'll see what sort of heat this thing pumps out. So besides the big unit there, what you get in the box is an instruction manual, some hose clamps and things to put on the hoses here and also the intake and exhaust. You get two pipes, but the funny thing is there is four ports there. And you get a little air filter which goes on the back over here, so you can put that on there, little little pod filter. And as usual, you get your customer service card, tells you all about the company and the warranty and all that sort of stuff. So that's all in there. So if you're still watching and you are interested in this heater, I just wanted to make a real quick mention about Max Peating Rods. They did reach out to me a couple of months ago when I hit over 2000 subscribers. And they offered to help me out with some car parts at a discounted rate and some really cheap stuff uh, like under $100 they sent to me to do review videos on. Uh, now that I'm nearly at 5,000 subscribers, they've sent me this heater which is a few hundred dollars and they wanted me to do a review on it. Although it doesn't really suit the channel and the content, um, I will need to be working outside in the cold throughout winter in my carport. Now there's no uh, sealed walls all the way around here so a lot of people have noticed that in other countries that don't have carports like this with a roller door on it. 
um, so I will need some kind of heating otherwise I'm gonna get sick so when they said do you want to try a heater I was like yeah of course I certainly do and fingers crossed it works well and I can use it and I can keep working in the garage now after a little test last night just so I could figure out how to work it I actually burnt myself on the exhaust of it so it does crank and we're about to see that now also with all the reviews and things I do with max peating rods I'm not obligated to say nice things about them uh, I'm just being honest and showing you guys what they send me I have really no control over what I get sent or what they would like me to review and if I think I can use it I'll say yes I have turned down some things that they want me to look at and review for them because it doesn't really suit the channel or I wouldn't have a use for it and I'd rather that go to somebody else who can use it so they're in contact with youtubers all over the world uh, sending out all kinds of free stuff so I'm not making that youtuber bank so I'm gonna say yes to free stuff especially if I can use it or if someone else can use it which brings me to the competition now I'll throw that link up here there'll be a little picture of the competition we are giving away two free sets of coilovers to suit civics eg ek someone even said they suit hrvs or crvs uh, and maybe even efs so if you're interested in winning those you've still got a week left so jump onto the link in the description of the video check it out see how you can win it's really simple all you need to do is just keep commenting on your own comment and reply to yourself get your friends to jump on there get all the likes whoever's got the most likes and comments will win someone's already got 60 or 70 likes and comments on one of their things so uh they're definitely you know high up in the running to win so if you want to win some free coilovers valued over 300 dollars make sure you check out that video anyway back to the show so here's my little jimmy rig system as most of you know my battery is in the boot i've just hooked up some jumper leads and what i'm going to do is attach the other ends like so to the wires all right so there we are it is on we're going to turn it on started to heat up already and my battery is actually going flat on my car because i haven't driven it in a little while here's how you turn it up so we're just going to full send it guys goes up to I think 5.1 Hertz and at the moment it's just warming up the fan you can see the really cool display there shows you the glow plugs warming up for the diesel uh, burner and then that's the fuel pump there and in a second that'll turn on I've got my exhaust hooked up there and my cold air intake over here and I've just sat it up on some blocks of wood just so I can get the exhaust cranking there so let's just check out what the temperature is now coming out of there 16 degrees you can hear the little injectors pumping can actually hear down here the exhaust is starting to fire up and boil and you can see the little green indicator there the injectors pumping now it's been running for about two minutes exhaust is up to 21 degrees you can hear it ramping up sounds like a little jet <laughs> Now that's absolutely pumping out of there one thing i will say though is there's four ports and only two pipes now it's really cranking 32 24 30 degrees 35 37 
what's the exhaust on? 100 degrees, 90 degrees. And it's been running for a total of four minutes. So this has been absolutely boosting for five minutes. And out of the motor, it's 104 degrees. So that's absolutely cranking, guys. 122 on the exhaust. setting is one kilowatt so we've turned it right down still belting out the hot air 98 degrees boiling but all of that by only using a hundred mil of diesel oil per hour which is fantastic now I do have some criticisms the criticisms would be the exhaust pipe probably should be mounted there or be more flexible or longer. Uh, the air intake should also have a proper secure mounting. They do give you some P-clips and some hose clamps and stuff, but, you know, probably should be a bit more sturdy. And there's four outlets here. You can't shut any of them. It would be nice to close one or two of them or if you had some longer ducting um, the ducting is great though it does work perfectly uh, it's just that there's only two ducts and four holes so it doesn't really make any sense and the other thing is the runs off 12 volts and it, they just give you some wires so they're my only criticisms the actual unit works so well in just five or six minutes it's pumping out at 100 degrees if you turn it all the way up. Otherwise, um, you know, probably still pump out air around 40, 50 degrees, which is going to heat up your workshop or your garage or your um, camping site, whatever it is that you've got. You can pump the heater on in your caravan when you're out in the snow. Whatever it is, it's really, really good and efficient and works great. I uh, don't have any concerns with the unit at all. Just some of the accessories that come with it and how it wires up. Now I'm gonna probably speak to my brother about getting him to wire up some kind of a 12 volt, 240 volt inverter converter thing. I'm not really into wiring, so I'll have to get him to do that. Yeah, depending on how cold it gets, I might need to put some cloth or some tarp down here just to keep the heat in because it does get really, really, really cold here in Melbourne uh, during winter and yeah, you get four seasons in one day, so that's going to be interesting. Anyway, I'll let that cool down, shut it off. Thanks very much for watching. Sorry it wasn't the normal content, but hey, if someone's going to send me a heater to heat up my garage for free in exchange for a review, I'm definitely going to do it. I love that Max Peating Rods reach out to some of us smaller YouTubers and guys that are doing it tough in our backyards. So thanks so much to Max Peating Rods. If you do want one of these, they're not very expensive. The link will be in the description. You also have a discount code, Tristan1, which will be 15% off. So definitely jump onto that. If you have a big workshop or you go camping a lot or you just want to warm up a place that's it's pretty cheap to run. If you don't want to pay electricity bills, you could even use this for the house. I believe it would definitely warm up your living room or your lounge room really, really quick. Don't know how you go with the diesel fumes. But one litre of diesel gives you 10 hours worth of heat and you saw that was cranking out at over 100 degrees. So it doesn't need to be on very long. So very efficient unit, love it. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you spool up, click like and subscribe. Share this with any of your camping buddies or guys that have a workshop that have to work out in the cold. Tradies, this would be great for you to keep around when you're working out in the elements in winter. So click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.